Hello there. Um, I received a comment which I must admit I'm guilty here. Said that I've not finished yet my series on various conversational connectors. It's true, I got a bit distracted with other videos. So I'm going to try to finish up over the next few days the conversations and connectors so then I can continue with the check basics and so on. So I looked at the list and I think that. I've so far done five sets of connectors, opening, closing, qualifying, filler, and disagreement and agreement. And now I'm going to talk about apologising. This will take us halfway through my current categories. I have 12 different categories of connectors. And um, so this will take us to the sixth one. And what I'm going to talk about today then is just a very brief overview of apologising. Now, in Czech is quite polite in the sense that you have to, or you're supposed to, show a certain humility here and to apologise for things even when they aren't great offences. So you don't have to be stepping on somebody's toes to apologise. Just simple interactions, you're meant to be humble. Not everybody does this, but it's certainly part of the culture. So I've written just a few examples here of phrases. Some of them will have appeared in various forms in other videos, but never together. So here's the first one. Nezloptese ale. Don't be upset, but... Now this is useful all the time, particularly, to be honest, when dealing with older people, maybe in a shop or in a government office, you want them to have the feeling that you're interrupting their busy day and you're asking such a great favour and that even the slightest request would trouble them. But in their hearts, they're good people. You know, there's this sort of game that goes on. Uh, so don't be upset, but... And then you can say something perfectly nice. Um, so somebody asks you if you want to do something and just in just saying I don't have time might be fine with your friends, but in a more official capacity it might be a bit rude. So you might say something like Neslobte se ale dot dot dot. So here's one of our connectors. All the connectors have a connecting word like and or or. So this one but in this case. So don't be upset, but ne mam dost chasso. So somebody stops you on the street, asks if you're willing to take a survey. Nezlopte se ale, nemam dos chasso. And then they'll go, okay, okay. You said you're apologising, fine. So here's the next one. This is um, a simple apology. I'm sorry, but omlo vam se ale. Mam jenom stovko. I have only... A 100 crown note, or bill, I guess the Americans would call them. 100 crowns is the local currency. 100 crown bill. Now, in a supermarket, if you buy something, sometimes you'll get a scowl if you hand over some money here and the bill was for 30 crowns and you give them 100. Not always, and it's going down a bit, but I've had people saying to me, this isn't a bank, you know. You know, really, <laughs> what would be considered quite rude from the server in many countries, there's still a bit, perhaps it's left over from communism, but there's still a little bit of a culture where the client, the customer is supposed to be the humble one. So if you're handing over a hundred crowns or a thousand crowns, I'm sorry, but I have only a hundred crowns. And then they'll go, it doesn't matter. And then they'll be okay. But if you just hand over the hundred crowns, they'll perhaps scowl at you and Okay. Bojím se, že. I am afraid that. Uh, you could put in here, if you see the dotted line here, going back to the, over to the word říct. I'm, bojím se říct, že. I'm afraid to say that. Or you can just say, I am afraid that, just like you could in English. So, I'm afraid that, or I'm afraid to say that. Sem uh, ženatý. So, I was imagining here, some pretty girl had asked if I was available tonight for a date. I would say, Boim se zřít, že jsem ženatý. That's just a jokey one, but 
I'm afraid that whenever you want to say something that the other person might consider unfortunate, you could say it even when you have um, a thousand grams. Boim says your mom yenom chisits. I'm sorry, but I have only a thousand. Yeah. Bohujel, this is used all the time. Bohujel, unfortunately, or alas, unfortunately. Um, so you could use it for all of these. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Bohujel ne mam das chasso. Bohujel mam yenom stavko. Unfortunately, everything is so unfortunate. And the other person will go, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Because it's not your fault. You're apologizing. It's the circumstances' fault. But, so, somebody stops you, asks if you want to do a survey. You could, as well as saying, Nezlopte se ala nemam dos chasu, you could also say, Bohužel nemam dos chasu, or Bohužel spiecham, spiecham. I'm in a hurry. Bohužel spiecham. Uh, you could see that just saying spiecham, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Maybe that would be fine, say, in New York or in London, but here, just to say spiecham, they might be a bit offended by it. So, bohužel. So you can see many of these aren't actually apologizing for something you've done wrong. They're actually softening the situation so that when you're delivering even the slightest of bad news, the other person will not be able to say anything nasty back to you and will be perhaps a bit more polite towards you. So, this is one I've mentioned before. Kesve hanbya, to my shame. So someone speaks to you in Czech, um, you might just normally say, Nem lovim Czeski, I don't speak Czech, Nem lovim Czeski. But if you say, Kesve hanbya, mluvim, nem, nem lovim Czeski, to my shame I don't speak Czech, or Kesve hanbya, Mluvim jenom anglicki, to my shame I speak only English, they'll feel sorry for you and not and be a bit nicer towards you. So I'm sorry to bother you, but um, I'm sorry. Je vas obchejuji ale prominite. So I'm sorry, je va, that vas obchejuji ale I'm sorry to bother you, but where is the town hall or whatever it is you want to say. So again, it has an ale so that you can connect things onto it. Um, I think I've mentioned this one before. Musim przyznat, że, I must admit that. Musim przyznat, że, na rozumim, I don't understand. So somebody has said something to you in Czech and instead of just saying, na rozumim, you can say, Musim przyznać, że ne rozumim. I must admit that I don't understand. And now you can see that you can combine some of these things and be really polite. So somebody speaks to you in Czech and you could say ne zlobte se ale. Don't be upset, but. So this is the idea of combination, conversational connectors, stringing them along. Ne zlobte se ale. Don't be upset, but. Kesve hanbie, to my shame. Musim przyznać, że, I must admit that, ne rozumim, I don't understand, mluvim jenom anglicki, I speak only English. Yeah, so, oh, omluvam se, ale, I'm sorry, but, omluvam se, ale, ne rozumim, mluvim jenom anglicki. Um, yeah, or, oh, kesve, Hambia. Um, Boim se říct, že, to my shame, I'm afraid to say that. Da, 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 da. So you can really add to the politeness. So apologizing here isn't necessarily apologizing for something you've done wrong, it's an in advance apology for some slight discomfort that you'll be causing the other person. So that's a quick introduction to apologizing connectors. I hope you found it useful and to those who are expecting more conversational connectors, they'll come in the next few days. And for those who are wanting to get back to Czech basics, that'll be next week, I think. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.